Hi, this is Vivian Kirstein, and I am here with Rabbi. I'm going to show you her. <laughs> here Hello. she is. Hi, welcome Thank to you. the Orlando Museum of Art. Thank you, Rabbi Grace Gleason. And now I want to show you some art. Um, first of all, I wanted to get your take real quickly on what it feels like. You're from New York and you're here as a student rabbi with the Southwest Orlando Jewish Congregation. Yes. And so I'm taking you to our museum here in Orlando. But you had shared with me what it feels like to be in New York and see all those wonderful museums. And you yeah. talked about the Met. Yeah, I, I really like going to museums and appreciate learning about the history and context of different art and get very overwhelmed in museums. So I like going in briefly and learning about one specific thing and kind of being able to go back and, and get into the Met as a New York resident is, is good for me and just go for a short time. And I like going on tours and learning about the history. So you like uh, the role of a docent, which is yes, what I am here exactly. at the museum. Yes, exactly. And I want to show you this piece here. The nice thing about the Orlando Museum of Art, it isn't as well overwhelming, you know, as a Met. But this is Chihuly. What is your cool. take on this? This is cool. I mean, it's like a snakes or like sea creatures. Mm-hmm. And, and so it's made out there. of, yeah, and there's the sky. It's made out of glass. Right. So Chihuly brought into um, the fine art world and into the mold of, you know, high art, yeah. um, the craft of blowing glass. And he was actually trained in Murano okay. in Italy and brought it out to Seattle. And if you ever have a chance, uh, Rabbi Grace, you should go to yeah, Seattle absolutely. and see the museum. I'm going to take you over to this piece here. This is Miriam Shapiro. She is a Jewish artist, and um, she is an artist who brought into the fold feminist art along with Judy Chicago. And you had mentioned you, you heard about or saw the Judy Chicago show. Yeah, the dinner party. So I really, really like the dinner party, which I originally read the book, Judy Chicago's book, about the process of making that. And she wrote about how she studied China painting, which was an art traditionally done by women, and just the intricacy and the delicacy and all of the creativity of the different designs and that she wanted to incorporate that. So it's kind of like this, like how detailed it is and inspired by, it says here, by um, needlework and quilting and piecing, which are traditionally Right, and, and we made this, uh, here's a close-up, we'll show the people this wonderful, oh, intricate like fabric. fabric. Yes, it's like fabric, but it's painted. But it's painted. And so um, Miriam Shapiro is part of that movement, and, right. and we were just discussing how um, in Judaism, some of the things that have been years and years and years not a woman's role to be a rabbi and how right. that's changed for you. You want to yeah. share that? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I was just saying it reminded me of the, in addition to women having access to things that are traditionally men's roles, like being a rabbi, there's also an aspect of elevating the things in the tradition of art history or in Judaism that have been thought of as women's roles and women's tasks and therefore not as, not as elevated and not as respected and so there's also the aspect of taking those things like kala baking like all of the traditions of women's poetry and the yiddish techinas for instance um was just reading about and and elevating those traditionally feminine arts what, could you tell us what the yiddish techinas is T so those are yiddish prayers and poems traditionally written by women and sort of as a complement to the Sidor, the set prayers that, that are part of every service, these more expressive prayers that were written by women in Yiddish. So I was just studying that in a class, and it was something that I had never even been exposed to in my Jewish education. I, I never have either. Yeah. I never have either. And so it's like taking these things that were done by women and yeah. bringing them into It makes so much sense. And, and here we have that exactly in, in the art world. And speaking of women, this is the first exhibit, a solo exhibit by a woman 
here in the Orlando Museum of Art. And it's Gigi Morales, Sonia Dora. Gigi Morales is the name. I'll show you a picture of her. She's an immigrant from Mexico. And, you know, when she came here, she wanted, and we'll give you a picture of the whole room here. She wanted to um, make these picture books because she learned how to read English in the libraries. And she had a little boy that she brought over with her. And, um, and so these are all illustrations. Yeah. Tell, tell me what your feeling is about this piece. I love this. I mean, it's seasonally appropriate as <laughs> Dia de los Muertos. And I love that she's kind of like smiling at, at death and he's <laughs> kind of winking. And I love cats, so. <laughs> <laughs> All the reason to love it. And his, her colors, aren't they just yeah. so vibrant and beautiful? Yeah, so this, this storyline is how um, Death wants to, uh, to make a, a present for the party that she's having. There's a series of her books that are about uh, Death coming and wants to take the grandma away. She's like, no, 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 yeah. I got a party to do. I got a party to do. Winking at him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so in the end, it's really interesting. There's this, I'm getting a reflection here, but you see this little character is yeah. kind of like hovering over. Well, in the end, you find out that's her husband who has passed away. Mm -hmm. All of the presents that he got and collected, they got destroyed. Where's that picture? Right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he, he ended up, he ended up um, tripping and his bicycle and everything goes away. But in the end, he brought her his, I don't know where that one is. Maybe it's over there. But in the end, he realizes, I'm going to bring her her husband yeah. back. Isn't that a lovely yeah. for the present? And in the book, they also have this uh, image of Frida Kahlo. And she used the colors. And Frida Kahlo was a painter that was um, very prevalent uh, in the Mexican, Mexicana, which was like the, with uh, Diego Rivera, who was her husband, bringing back the culture of um, Mexico to the public. So this is this is this exhibit. So they have different. Um, oh, the colors in that are the Mexican flag. So I forgot. Yeah. And this one is really interesting too. Mm -hmm. It's not written by Arsenio Art, but this one is about the immigrants, and it is about um, uh, the story of I'm not Cesar Chavez. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Cesar Chavez, who helped the migrant workers. Yeah. I think he was born in Arizona. They were very poor, and then he went out to um, California. California and then realized the, the, the terrible things they were doing to the immigrants, and in a very peaceful way, got things to change. And so this, this is another book. This is another book. This is The Ladder to the Moon, and it made me think of Jacob's story. Oh, yeah. But in this story, there is the, the grandmother, I think it is, who comes down. She misses the grandmother, or the mother was sad that her child never got to meet her, something like that. Mm -hmm. And so in your dreams, you can bring back your loved ones. Mm -hmm. It's very touching. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Wow. Amazing image of a ladder. Mm-hmm. So we can do a lot more in this museum, yeah. but I think you got an idea of Absolutely. some of the things that they have contemporary art. We'll just come over here so you yeah. can see one more thing. Check out this. It's like a whole nother century, right? This is Spanish colonialism. And you know, look at these frames, huh? Yeah. Aren't they amazing? Yeah. Every frame in here is different and it's one collector the Tomas collection and I love how they have it in Spanish and in English mm -hmm. for everybody mm -hmm. this one's my favorite yeah I wonder what she's reading what does it say That's not it is. oh my god it is and I have another docent here I'm gonna oh. introduce you say hi to my video we're doing a video tour. Hi, video. I'm Grace. Huh? I'm Grace. This is Grace. Yeah, Grace. I'm video. I mean, Jay. <laughs> You're a video, Jay. No, Jay. Hi, Jay. Hi. Jay is going to help me with the tour that I'm about to do. So I want to thank you. 
Thank Rabbi you so much. Grace for Absolutely. coming and enjoying the museum with me. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And with me. And bye, everybody. <laughs> Next <laughs> week, I'll give another video. <laughs> bye again. Love it.